Kanyeya Chukutagbo Okeke is a multiple award-winning 13-year-old art servant living with autism who started painting at the age of five and has been recognized globally in the creative art world as a master and in the world of those living with special needs as an activist and advocate for diversity and inclusion. His story in the world of creative art could be said to have officially kicked off in September 2018 when, at the age of eight, Kanye's art, alongside that of three other prominent Nigerian artists, was exhibited for the very first time at the OPEC Fund for International Development Yearly Art Exhibition in Vienna, Austria. During the period of this exhibition, his art was also recognized by the Archduke and Duchess of Austria, who honored him with the Austrian Flame of Peace Award, an honor reserved for artists and members of the diplomatic corps who have used their art and positions to foster world peace and development. In March the following year, Kanye, in partnership with Transcore Hilton Abuja, hosted the first of his yearly multi-group art exhibitions featuring the display of artworks and talents of children living with autism and Down syndrome all over the country. Shortly after this exhibition, he was invited and became the youngest artist to feature at the Akane Art Festival in Casablanca, Morocco in 2019. Returning from that exhibition, Kanye Yachuku hosted a hugely successful first solo art exhibition at the Terra Culture Arts Gallery and Studios in Lagos, Nigeria. And finally, he was honored yet again in 2019 as a recipient of the Nigerian Independence Day Award for Social Bravery. The works of Kanye Yachuku has been on display at numerous local and international art shows and exhibitions in the last couple of years. These include the New York Art Expo 2021, where he was the youngest featured artist, and the Art Vancouver Expo, where he was not only the youngest artist to feature, but one of his pieces was selected and made it to the cover of the official journal of the event in 2022. In line with his advocacy works, Kanye's pieces are noticeably found on the walls of several embassies in Nabuja and Nigerian foreign mission headquarters. In various parts of the world, he was recently a guest of the president of UNICEF, where one of his masterpieces was presented to him at the UNICEF headquarters in New York. And while marking the United Nations World Children's Day in 2022, he was recognized by the federal government of Nigeria for his extraordinary talent and contribution towards drawing awareness to children living with disabilities in Nigeria, including over 61 scholarships and art supplies donated to underprivileged children living with special needs paid for from proceeds of the sale of his art. It has been the dream and desire for the family of Kanye Yachuku to have his works showcased on a global stage and to an international audience solo. He's able to speak loud, loud and clear through his artwork. He's able to say, hey, even though I'm on the spectrum, I was not giving up on. People believed in me, like the Saimeka Okosa Foundation, they believed in me. And with that, I'm able to take my art to an amazing place like New York, to Washington, and of course, to other places as well, to Malta. In Malta, he got the Artist of the Year Award. In a wonderful twist of fate, Kanye Yachuku's artistic journey converged with destiny the day he was introduced to Sir Engineer Emeka Okosa, a visionary philanthropist with a heart entwined with the arts. That encounter led to a visit to Kanye's art studio, where in admiration of the works he gazed upon, saw Emeka with a genuine smile that reflected his deep belief in the power of art, offered a hand of unparalleled generosity to co-sponsor Kanye Yachuka's first solo exhibition in the heart of New York City. In the following months, his promise was fulfilled and as Kanye Yachuku's plane touched down in New York, he carried not only his paintings but also the unwavering support of a man who believed in him. As his exhibition unfolded, Kanye's art journey was again illuminated as his works were requested to be showcased in exhibitions at Washington, D.C., Malta 
and awards bestowed on him. Autism is not a tragedy. Ignorance is.